All right, let's just get right to it. Title card. I can't even make the opening credits. Just so depressing. Nobuhiro Watsuki, the creator of Rurouni Kenshin, was actually arrested recently, like this week, for possession of child pornography. The Tokyo Metropolitan Police has charged. What are you doing? Oh my God! What this is being serious, bitch. The Tokyo Metropolitan Police has charged 47-year-old manga creator Nobuhiro Watsuki with simple possession of child pornography on Tuesday. According to the authorities, Watsuki possessed numerous DVDs with nude footage of young girls in their early teens and stored them at an office in Tokyo at least as recently as October. In his deposition, Watsuki allegedly said that he liked girls in late elementary school to around their second year of middle school. Authorities searched Watsuki's home as part of a different investigation, which linked him to the purchase of DVDs with child pornography. Possession of child pornography entails imprisonment for up to one year and a fine of up to one million yen, about eight thousand eight hundred U.S. dollars, if found guilty. <sighs> wow. <laughs> You can die at any time. It takes true courage to live. This is a pretty cool, life-affirming quote. What the fuck am I supposed to do now, huh? I don't have to tell you that this shit is disgusting. Let's make some shitty, bizarre, hypothetical. Let's just say that he didn't actually participate in child fucking. He still supported an industry that records it. I mean, th this is just so fucked up, right? Can you imagine being a fan of Rurouni Kenshin? You buy the manga, you buy the DVDs, whatever. And just realizing that you help this guy support an underground industry that abuses children. <coughs> Another thing that's fucked up is the allegations that apparently are true against Louis C.K., a comedian I love. In encounters dating back to the late 90s, five women told the New York Times that the comedian asked if he could masturbate while they were in the room or masturbated in front of them or during phone calls. It gets more specific in the New York Times version. It's the duo, Dana Min Goodman and Julia Wolov. CK invited them to the hotel room so they could hang out. He was a comedian they admired. The woman would be together. The intention seemed collegial. And as soon as they sat down in his room, still wrapped in their winter jackets and hats, Louis C.K. asked if he could take out his penis. They thought of it was a joke and laughed it off. <laughs> and then he really did it. Holy shit. Oh my god, bro. They laughed at it. It's a sign. They thought it was a joke. You're a comedian. What the fuck? The problem is this. You did a horrible thing. What do I do with the stuff you did that I liked? Am I supposed to hate it now? Rurouni Kenshin was this beautiful story about redemption. Can a killer be a decent human being? And I think the manga's answer to that is yes. After difficulty, after hardship, yes, he can. And Louis C.K. is just funny and observant about human nature. Because everything is amazing right now and nobody's happy. Like, in my lifetime, the changes in the world have been incredible. When I was a kid, we had a rotary phone. We had a phone that you had to stand next to, and you had to dial it. Yes. You don't you realize how primitive, you're making sparks <laughs> in a phone, and you actually would hate people with zeros in their numbers, because it was more, it was right. like, oh, this guy's got two zeros, screw that guy, why do I want to, yeah. ugh. <laughs> and then if, you, if they called and you weren't home, the phone would just ring lonely by itself. <laughs> And then I was, on a, I was on an airplane and there was internet, high speed internet on the airplane. That's yes. the newest thing that I know exists. And I'm sitting on the plane and they go, open up your laptop, you can go on the internet. And it's fast and I'm watching YouTube clips. It's I'm in an airplane. And then it breaks down. And they apologize, the internet's not working. The guy next to me goes, this is bull****. <laughs> like how quickly the world owes him something. Yes. He knew existed only 10 seconds ago. Right. <laughs> Did that one thing that was so wrong destroy the good they do? To an extent, I think so. Like, the goodwill they have. That's kind of shot. It's, it's a fucked up situation. It's a lot of trust back then, yeah. Those were simpler times, I think. Can you separate the art from the artist? I think it's possible. 
I didn't get this argument from my own ass. I saw the stream of previously recorded. All right, if you cannot separate the the art from the artist, yeah. it's soon going to become impossible to watch any Hollywood movie. It's it's getting harder and harder, man. It's getting harder and harder. You know, and like to me it all depends on context. You know, like what what the art is about. You know, I can I could wa I can watch the Naked Gun movies and not be bothered that O.J. Simpson killed someone, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. uh, the the movie that Woody Allen is currently working on is about Woody Allen falling in love with a very young girl. Is he insane? For those of you who don't know, Woody Allen was in a relationship with Mia Farrow. And before they got into a relationship, she already had an adopted daughter, this girl. Soon Yi. And it turns out that they would have an affair in the future behind Mia Farrow's back. So you see how it's awkward. I don't think I could watch that and separate the art from the artist. Applying that logic to Nobuhiro Watsuki's work, I don't think Rurouni Kenshin shows Nobuhiro Watsuki's perversions. The main story of Rurouni Kenshin is about a guy struggling with his dark past and wanting to redeem himself from the people he killed or the bad things he's done. Ken wa kyoki. Ken jitsu wa satsujin jitsu. Donna kirei goto ya odai moku kuchi ni shite mo sore ga shin jitsu. I am perfectly aware that this is not the anime or the manga, but the live action version of Roroni Kenshin is actually pretty good, unlike some other adaptations of anime and manga. There's also this ninja who's 16 years old and she has a crush on an older guy since she was little, but the main stories can still be a good thing. I can't say the same thing for Louis C.K. Louis C.K.'s art is performance art, his comedy, and his comedy comes from his experiences. You can see C.K.'s thought process when he monologues about George Carlin on a tribute after George Carlin died. When you're done telling jokes about airplanes and dogs, and you throw those away, what do you got left? You can only dig deeper. Start talking about your, you know, your feelings and who you are. And then you do those jokes and they're gone. You gotta dig deeper. So then you start thinking about your fears and your nightmares and doing jokes about that. And then they're gone. And then you start going into just weird shit. Yeah, eventually you get to your balls. But there's a whole... <laughs> what do I... Because he says whatever he wants. What do I really want to say that I'm afraid to say? And at the time I was a father, I am still a father, <laughs> but at the time I said, I can't have sex with my, do with my daughter, with my wife, <laughs> because we have a baby and our baby's a fucking asshole. It's just what I was feeling and I said it and the audience went, whoa. And I thought, oh, I'm somewhere new now. And I said, <laughs> and I said uh, something like, I never used to get babies in the garbage, but now I understand it. And they did that. And I thought, I'd rather have that than the shit tepid laughter for my 15-year-old jokes. And it's a little bit uncomfortable now when I look at his previous works. Not all of it, but some of it. I mean, Vulture compiled this, and it's actually pretty good. I mean, we have to jack off to everything. There's nothing that just gets... To, there's not, like, sex and then everything. Sex isn't everything. You watch the news, and there's a woman, like, telling you... Uh, and, in, and in Libya, I'm like, yeah, well, tell me about Libya. Fuck, tell me about Libya. Say Libya again. Come on, fucking right up to the screen, my flat screen. Come on, say Libya again. Yeah. Mm. If you're still going to clubs and you have a ponytail and a little dress, and you're standing outside of a club waiting to get in, it's two degrees, you got no jackets, a little dress, it's gonna be great in there. You're a girl. <laughs> I wanna give you a sweater and a ride home. I don't wanna fuck you, I'll jerk off to you, but I don't wanna fuck you and get involved. It's like he knows it's bad. You're the only person we could find who would come here to defend masturbation. Well, I like it. It's, uh, it's easy and it's fun and nobody gets hurt. It's one thing to talk about masturbation. It's another thing to actually do it in front of someone else. Man's got to know his limitations. And Louis C.K. is smart. There's this thing called the internet, Louis. Something you talked about earlier. How hard would it have been to make a profile, huh? 
Some of the acts he committed were in the 90s and the early 2000s, and the internet probably wasn't as big as it is now. But, but really, there's gonna be a girl out there who's into that shit. He should have gotten a person who would be willing to say, Yeah, Louis, I'd like to see you come on your belly. Yeah, sure, why the fuck not? You have a wife too, man. When did you get your divorce? 2008? Maybe you shouldn't have done that in the first place, huh? Oh wow, this is, this is really sad now. And you masturbate, and you're alone. Have you ever been happy? Are you happy now? Will Louis C.K. bounce back from this? I don't know. It will be a while before he comes back, like, doing comedy specials, I think. Will people forgive him? I don't know. If, as crazy as Joey is, he's a very gentle person. Calls me every couple days. What's up, Aww. cocksucker? What are you doing, brother? And, and you know, he, he and I were talking about this whole Louis C.K. thing. He was like, you know, he goes, you know what's fucking crazy? He was like, I held somebody at gunpoint. He goes, I went to jail. <laughs> he goes, he goes for armed fucking kidnapping. And everybody's like, ah, you were crazy. <laughs> but he goes like, this is the kind of thing. Ah, crazy. This is the kind of thing that sticks because mm -hmm. he did it to one of us, right? right? Like if you, in our world, like we are all the same. We are all the same thing. I mean, there's going to be some weird pettiness and bullshit, and there's going to be some prejudices, and there's going to be some individuals that are not supportive. But overall, amongst the good eggs, yeah. amongst the ones that you and I associate with, we, are all, we all consider each other the same thing. This is like what Bruce Lee said, absorb what is useful. I think what Louis C.K. did for us is... You know, some honesty about human nature is good. But then to do it on another human being, that, that's kind of a whole different ball game, isn't it? And hey, Rurani Kenshin, it's a great story, right? But you're not comfortable supporting a pedophile. I got a solution for you. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below, guys. Uh, at least I have Rurani Kenshin. You know what I got from there? I got Heart of the Sword. It's a really good song, and let's use that song to bring us out of this depressing nightmare. Let's look at the video on YouTube. Let's see how that goes. <laughs>